My name is Clint Pinnock, and I'm an assistant professor of biology in the College of Science and Mathematics. And also, I'm an ant biologist. Yes, ants. When you tell someone that you're an ant biologist, two questions inevitably come up. First, can you tell me what the ants are in my kitchen? And second, how do I get rid of them? Well, my research might help you answer that first question, but as for the second, I'm more interested in what we can learn from ants and other insects than I am in trying to figure out new ways to get rid of them. When I first got interested in research, I thought that big discoveries happened someplace far away. You had to get on a plane and fly somewhere like the Amazon. But the first research I ever actually published was a study I conducted on ants living in my own backyard. The idea that you could study ants pretty much anywhere has stuck with me for the rest of my career. I've now gotten to study ants in places that range from the jungles of India to my most recent work on the streets of New York City. For the last six years, my collaborators and I have been studying the ants of New York to understand how cities affect biodiversity more broadly. So far, we've identified over 40 ant species living in Manhattan, which is slightly more than have been found in the nearest natural habitat outside the city. And we found that not only are ants in New York diverse, but they're also abundant. Based on our collections, we estimate that there are at least 16 billion ants living in the city. To put this another way, ants outnumber human residents of New York by 2,000 to 1. So how does a city like New York support so many ants and other urban animals? Although urban habitats have fewer plants and other food sources that wild populations depend on, what they have instead is garbage. And they have a lot of it. Using stable isotopes of carbon, my students and I trace human foods through urban food webs. What we found is that the species that do best in cities are those that are best able to find and eat our trash. Just along Broadway, we estimate that ants are eating the equivalent in weight of 10,000 hot dogs per year. We tend to think of the ants living on our sidewalks and in our homes as pests, but some of them are fascinating in their own right. Just like us, Ants live in dense societies and must defend themselves against disease. Also like us, ants have figured out how to produce their own antibiotics. My lab recently developed the first rapid technique to measure ant-produced antibiotics. And we started this project by testing the ants living in our homes and in our cities. Of all the ants we've tested so far, the one with the most potent antibiotic, by far, was a tiny species that I found living in a tree stump in my own front yard. Students in my lab at Kennesaw State University are continuing the search for new ant species that produce antibiotics. And we're also trying to learn how ants prevent pathogens from developing antibiotic resistance, a problem ants seem to have solved, but we still haven't. And it's not just ants we're looking at to learn new tricks. In early 2020, our lab received funding from NASA to study how structural properties of bee honeycomb can be used to improve 3D printing design. Honeycomb has fascinated scientists for millennia, since the Roman scholar Marcus Varro first speculated about why bees build their nest using hexagons. Our lab is now working with 3D printing engineers to look at honeycomb in more detail. What we've been learning so far is that bees and wasps build the cells of their comb with rounded corners. Most engineers, on the other hand, build honeycomb with sharp corners but it turns out that rounding the corners of each hexagon improves the strength to weight ratio of the entire structure. A new graduate student in my lab is taking this project further to see what else we can learn about structural design from bees. Five years ago, I would have never thought that I would be doing research with NASA on bees to develop better aerospace parts. But that's what's great about science. It will take you to places that you never expected. Kennesaw State University has turned out to be the perfect place to build these types of interdisciplinary projects and to push this research forward, from the sidewalk to the moon. Thanks.